Hey folks, good morning. Uh, we're at a new location and I'm on a, out here in the woods out on a creek. Out on a creek. Uh, and we thought we'd come out here and dig this for a little bit so what we can find. I just got here five minutes ago. Walked in, had my first hit and had a signal. Right here's what we just hit is a looks like a washer. So anyway, my here's our first find on this new location. We'll do some more digging. We'll come back if we have anything else. As soon as we can get it. Okay, we're back in the same little hole here. And I keep getting hits. So I don't know. I'm gonna try to hold this camera here. And uh a fun place to, to dig here so far. I've... Just well, whatever it was in here. There's another washer. I believe that's what that is. Oops, just dropped it. Or oh, there it goes. Yeah, another washer. So, okay, cool. Okay, just got a signal here on the creek. Got some kind of a little strap. Uh, yeah, looks like a, a buckle or some kind of a strap that's strapping down some kind of a pipe or a post or something. But anyway, right there it is. All right, we've done dug something up here. Got another hit, big piece of scrap metal. I'm not sure what it is, but it's something big. So had a real heavy, solid hit on it. So anyway, it is what it is. Piece of iron. All right, just dug me up a bungee hook out here in the woods. So just no telling what you'll find out here. Hmm. Now, this area up here, where I'm, we're looking at right now, I'm thinking this is an old home place here, just right in this, beyond this bed of trees. Some graves, They're right up in that cluster of oaks there. And if I'm thinking correctly, there's an old home place either set right in that, right in that area there, or back over to my right here but this would be just a perfect place to put a house and I think there's a, a cellar hole just right up there so we're going to go up in here and scout it out look at check it out and uh, probe around with it a little bit but uh, if I'm not mistaken that's what's in there, so let's just go check it out. Video. Anyway, we just dug this up. It's a, some kind of a full pouch, but it's got a metal rim to it, so it looks like it might have been an old oil can or something at one time. Anyway, junk. Well, wouldn't you believe it? <laughs> Look what I found here. Not an egg, but it's a good old golf ball. Alright, so a little old ground find. This is pretty cool, so we'll pick this sucker up and put it in my pouch and pocket. So anyway, and there's a can over here. I just found this on surface finds. Huh. And doggone if there's another. I just found another one. Two more. I mean, whatever it is, something's laying these golf balls around here. Here's one. And there's another one. Wow. Awesome. Hey, there's another one. Someone looks like to get rid of their old golf balls. Anyway, that's one, two, three. There's number four. This one was, must have been laid by some, the golf chicken. A yellow hit it. A yellow one. There's another one. Oh, come on. Come on. 
Ain't that cool? Found me a bunch of goofballs, and I'm out here in the middle of a field. Yeah, of course, there's a house there, and he's probably whacking them over here. And, uh, letting me find them. So, anyway, that's a unique little find. Go figure. Oh, we found some more junk. Another can. And uh, more metal to my heap. Metal heap. So, awesome. Like a, the good old Pepsi can. Anyway. There it is. All right, I'm back here in the part of the woods. I was just thinking there was one or two graves back here, but there's several graves marking here. And these are really old. It looks like there might be 10 or 12 of them back here. Could be a family, plots. Let's see if I can get some, some uh, dates off. This one's stone, and it's this hole right here. Looks like the, the grave itself has caved in and uh, headstone down in it. There's a couple more markers. Best I can tell, this one dates to, best I can tell, make out this stone right here dates from. 1826 to 1907 and uh, Flouse is the name F-O-U-L-C-E maybe can't tell about the first name but wow well, 1907 it's been here a while and this one, wow, that's been here a long time. 1860 something it says right there. And I can't tell what the rest of it says. It does say 1861 or 67. And uh, not sure what that name is. I can barely read the, the lettering in it. But interesting, interesting. And this is another one. And uh, last name says France. Wife of, oh, okay, Francis. In memory of Francis, wife of John B. Snow, born June 30th, 1850, and died June 12th, 1904. Wow. And uh, all these graves. And all these graves here are out here in the middle of the woods. There's markers, head markers. Right here's another one. And uh, foot markers. These people have been out here all these years, since the early 1900s laying here or longer and uh, only one I could really make out was Francis wife wow, John B. Snow so anyway we're, we're on the snow farm and uh, so this must be their family plot so it's got to be a house or a church or something close by. Uh, so we're just gonna keep digging and looking around these this farm and uh, see what we can find. Well, just got a down below a bunch of graves that I was at and back out here in the field. I got a hit on this and 
Don't know what it is. It's a piece of iron of some sort. It's a. It's a definitely metal, and it's solid iron. It looks like so. And it was about four inches down. So don't know what it is. We'll see. Junk, I guess. Artifact. 